Ladies and gentlemen, our championship winning team, South Melbourne FC, number two, Tim Mahler. Number four, Michael Eger. Number seven, Nick Epifano. Number eight, Matty Theodore. Number nine, Milos Luich. Number 10, Tyson Holmes. Number 11, Brad Norton. Number 12, Iggy Jawadi. Number 14, James Musa. Number 17, Jamie Reed. And in goals, number 21, Chris Maynard. Spill into the path of Solania, top of the area, turns onto his left and he's dispossessed by the back, tracking Norton, who did very well to come through and take from the blind side of Solania. It is absolutely blowing a gale, as you can see there. Ball runs away from the ball. On the left, but... Musa puts it past his own keeper after the cross from Fabian Barbiero and Metro Stars lead in the 11th minute, 1-0. Uh, Chris Taylor not too happy with Tim Muller there. Um, I think he's indicating he could have closed that play down a lot, a lot of time to put that ball in and with a win like this, Griff is a keeper, you, you don't want crosses coming from the box. I mean, South Melbourne's all seated, Metro Stars in possession, D'Aloisio out to the right and now Mitra's going for a little bit of a run. Cutting in onto his left, long shot, and it hits the woodwork! Here's the follow-up, Solania's offside. And even though the ball's in the net, Solania had the flag up before he even took the shot on goal. But what a spectacular attempt from distance there, Griffin McMaster. Was, again, and I've got to look at Maynard's positioning in that particular circumstance. Just a fraction too far off his line, it's gone over his head. And uh, Solania probably a little bit unlucky there, just uh, a fraction offside. We don't have the, the best view from where we're standing, but... Of course, the linesman has the... And now Mitra's going for a little bit of a run. Of course, every yellow card or even red card affects negatively the prospects of either of these two teams possibly making up the points difference to be able to overhaul Bonnie Rig. It'd have to be 5 or 6-1 from here for either team to go on and host the final. Poor turnover in the centre of the park. Here's Tunbridge coming away with the ball. It's 2 on 2. Flick through. The flag stays down. Played back. Here's Tunbridge to double the advantage. And it's a good save by Maynard. Follow up by Polisina. He tried to volley it. It's hit away. Solania is dangerous. Ball taken off his feet by Marla. Well defended at the top of the area. Metro Stars there. They've had some golden opportunities. Not just having taken the lead. But perhaps their two best chances of the game haven't ended up in the back of the net. And once again South Melbourne survive. They do, and uh, we've got to credit Chris Maynard there for being very composed in that situation, made himself big, didn't panic, and of course he's made a very, very important save to help. It's a factor that you don't see too often in A-League or higher level professionalism because the stadiums just aren't so open here, but with Albert Park Lake right behind one of the sets of goals to the left of screen if you're watching it or to the right of our commentary position, that's where the wind is coming from. Here's Epifano. Wide on the left. Cuts onto his right to lose the man. Swings it. Reed was arriving. It's batted away by Godley. Here's Holmes. Turning onto his left. Now a shooting chance and it's fired over the bar. And that was Norton sending it out onto the running track. And that one was well high and wide of the target. Better movement there from South Melbourne. And uh, Epifano again. He's gonna looks like he's going to be the danger player going forward. And Norton couldn't quite get that one on target. But it's a good... Now across 35 minutes. 10 plus stoppage until half time. Eager. Plays the pass. And here's Reed for Lujic! What a one! South Great Melbourne ball. level! What a stunning cross and Milos Lujic, the finisher of this South Melbourne team, the golden boot of the Victorian NPL, has bought South Melbourne level. We'll put the goal down in the 36th minute. It's South Melbourne, Metro Stars 1. Well, what a fantastic delivery by Reed. He, uh, they were criticising him no longer than 30 seconds ago because he coughed up possession when South Melbourne had a great attack and he's ripped in an absolute beautiful pass into Milos Lewic. Right place, right time, header on target. And South Melbourne, they're back in this game. It's 1-1. Matt McNamara, a little bit of a goal out of nothing there. The game had seemed... Ball wide to the right. Barbiero lays it back in board. Poor pass. And now Theodore. South Melbourne committing some numbers forward here. Can Theodore do? Chip through. Lujic watches the ball bounce into his path. He can't pull the trigger on a shot. Ball at the top of the box. Holmes lays it off. Theodore deflected. Lujic. And it's a penalty. Lujic was ragged in the area. Metro Stars are furious. But they're going to the spot, South Melbourne. And the referee. Plenty of players coming in to protest the case here. 
but Milos Lujic, only moments after scoring the equaliser, has now been legged, and it's a South Melbourne penalty to take a 2-1 lead. What a great chance to go back into the lead, a position they've known so well in the Victorian NPL. Here we go. And the penalty is missed. Reed has skied it over the bar. Unbelievable. It never really looked likely. And Jamie Reed in the 41st minute has missed a penalty. Yeah, and it's exactly what Chris Taylor would have wanted and would have told the, the team at half time that, you know, they're the home side. They've got to assert themselves on the game and, and really show Metro Stars who, who is boss here and something they lacked through pass. And here's a chance now. Norton with a 1-2, crossing it to the penalty spot. Attempted an overhead kick from Lujic. And that one will run through the penalty area and out for... Didn't take a deflection, out for a goal kick. And second week in a row, South Melbourne going for the spectacular. Right now, South Melbourne want to be the team going there. Floated in by Norton and got it into the bar. Musa so close to making amends for his first half own goal. And now Epifano lashes that one high over the bar and onto the running track. But a beautifully flighted and floated set piece. And Musa crashing the ball into the woodwork. Musa, uh, right foot, of course, we all know he's a left footer. And uh, a golden opportunity again. Eager. And now Musa. It's a long ball. Opportunity now in the centre of the park. Headed on by Solanya. And now Mitris trying to slide through. Tunbridge flag stays down. Great chance, Tunbridge! 2-1 Metro Stars! Wow, who would have thought South Melbourne, after such a great start to the second half, have been hit by Tunbridge and the former South player has come back to Lakeside and put his team in front. Griff, unbelievable. What a great strike. He really middled it beautifully, but question marks again, they're going to be raised over Maynard, near post, good height. Uh, he can't afford to be out of position in that particular, in that area. And uh, we've, got, we've got to credit the strike. It was uh, a super hit. But uh, Metro Stars, can we say, uh, guys, uh, a deserved lead 2-1 or a little bit lucky? Probably slightly on the, on the break there as well. Just a, a bit of a lucky ball. And then Tunbridge with a great hit. But you're right, Griff Maynard really probably could have done a lot better as well. Uh, Early taste of summer here in Melbourne as well. We were heading for a top of 28 because it's been so windy. It has perhaps masked that to an extent out on the field. Ball currently in the middle of the park. And being won by Theodore. Reed turning his man. Ball takes a kind deflection. Here's a shooting chance. And it's not well hit by Lujic. He just didn't get much of the ball and it's run kindly into the hands of Godley. Yeah, good chance there by Lewis, obviously, going on the outside of the foot, no power behind it. it Melbourne Knights made two subs late in stoppage time trying to defend, and then conceded in the 95th minute, and had to play all of extra time without any recognised attacking midfielders. They more or less had a back six, yeah. and some of them just had to be thrown into midfield to plug some gaps. Yeah, and we also saw in that game uh, the relegation battle uh, in, in the NPL, Vic, with between Port Melbourne and Werribee only a few weeks ago. How that game went to, I think it was 96 minutes, Tao, when Port Melbourne scored the goal and they needed to avoid. Musa driving it, and it bends. And that was a dangerous shot, but I think it actually did go well wide of the target, at least from our angle, but worth a hit. And Griffin McMaster, godly. Crossfield pass, eager. Ball now to Monopolis. Used the chest, brought it into his control initially. Jawadi to Norton. Now Monopolis again. Eager, pressing forward. Flicked on. Nice move here. Theodore! Puts it over the bar! Well, it was a gorgeous move from South Melbourne. Some of their best stuff for the day. And the shot just over the target from Matthew Theodore. Great move. Fantastic move from Matthew Theodore, the instrumenter in that particular attack. Just unfortunate. Just whistling over the bar. Normally... A player that can't finish from that area. You yes. probably put money on it. South Melbourne chasing the game. Norton. Back to Timmins. Floats it wide. And it's comfortably headed away by Van Dommel. Theodore running onto it. Wide on the right. Under a bit of pressure. Plays it back. Musa. Now Timmins. In traffic. Top of the area. Timmins. Crossing it. Here's a chance. No. Nope. Running behind Lujic again. Seems like a lot of the passes have been behind him as he advances into the box and waiting at the back post. Jamie Reid. The ball wasn't arriving in time. Cleared away. Metro Stars defence holding on. 
Overhead kick attempted again by Reed, and this one slews off the boot and goes through the area out for a goal kick. The Metro Stars, 2-1 in front. Here's the goal kick from Godley. And it's going to be allowed to bounce, and Norton will go and chase it down. So we're into the last minute of regulation. South Melbourne still chasing an equaliser, trying to buy themselves an extra 30 minutes of time. High ball. Allowed to bounce. Here's a volley. Theodore, speculative, and bending well out for a goal kick. Here he comes, Maynard. He's a big figure, a big presence. He could... This has got to be a tire. He could be some sort of a wrecking ball here. Let's not forget, South Melbourne have plenty of tall targets. Here comes the corner. Last chance. In swinger into the mix. Headed away. Powerfully done. Jawadi, second time ball will be crucial here. And that one is straight to Godley, who holds it in front of his eyes. The three minutes of stoppage is up. And there it is. Metro Stars advance to the PlayStation 4 NPL Grand Final. They come to Victoria and they leave with a 2-1 win. Well, it's a bit of shock. We're, of course, they're in Melbourne and South Melbourne uh, they threw everything. They gave everything 100%. And uh, it's to no avail. Well, we've got to credit Metro Stars. They came in with a certain game plan and they executed it very, very well.